Welcome to day 20 of the 30 day yoga challenge. Today is our bringing it together yoga flow where we revisit some of the sequences from the past week and bring them together into one complete class to revisit some of the skills that we focused on. When you are ready, we'll begin in Tarasana. So come into a seated position and create a diamond shape with the legs, bringing the feet together. You can bring your hands to your feet and then let your spine round as you fold forwards. Relaxing the chin to the chest. Let your upper body be heavy. And you may find over time you start to sink a little bit further into the fold. Deepen your breath. And with each exhale, notice if you can let go of any tension, any tightness you may be holding on to. Slowly sit up, straighten the left leg and hug the right knee into your chest and wrap the left leg, the left arm around the leg. Place the right hand behind you for support. With an inhale, lift from the crown of your head, sitting up tall. As you exhale, twist to the right, gaze over the right shoulder. Release the twist and extend the right leg. Hug the left leg in towards you. Wrap the right arm around the leg and place the left hand behind you. With an inhale, sit up tall. As you exhale, twist to the left, gaze over the left shoulder. Release the twist. Then bend both knees. Bring your hands to the backs of your knees and start to sit back. Lift your feet to come into boat. Option to keep the hands on the backs of the legs or reach your arms forwards. If you'd like a little more of a challenge, you could extend the legs. And find a place to focus your gaze. Tune into your breath. Cross your ankles, draw them in towards your body and get ready to rock forwards. Plant your hands, then step back into tabletop. Stacking the hips over the knees, shoulders over the wrists. Turn your fingers to face the sides of the mat and start by rocking from side to side. Pausing as you hold on each side. Taking a little bit of weight into either wrist to begin warming up. Then flip the right hand, 
so that the fingers are pointing to the left side of the mat and place the left hand on top of the right. Apply a little bit of pressure, so left hand is pushing into the right, then start to lean to the left. This should feel both a stretch for the left wrist and right. So we're bringing right wrist into flexion, left wrist into extension. Hold for a breath in. Exhale and release. Now we'll switch. So lower the top of the left hand down with the fingers pointing to the right side of the mat and place the right hand on top of the left. Push the hands together and lean to your right. This should feel a little different now, so it's the opposite. Right wrist is in extension, left wrist is in flexion. Hold for one more breath. And then release. Bring both hands flat to the mat, fingers facing forwards. With an inhale, dip your belly to arch your spine, gaze forwards. Hold this position, then send your hips to your heels, pushing yourself back. As you exhale, round the spine and ripple forwards, bringing shoulders over wrists. Inhale, arch the back, move back. Exhale, round, ripple forwards. Keep this flowing with your breath. If you'd like a little bit more, edge the hands further forward so that as you ripple forwards, you can lower down into Cobra. Ripple all the way forwards, come and lie down on your belly. Reach the right arm out to the right side and roll onto the right side of the body. You can rest the head on the ground here for support. If you'd like to go further, you can place the left foot behind you, bending the knee. There's also the option to wrap the left arm behind the back. Slowly release, roll back onto your belly. Then reach the left arm out to the left side, roll onto the left side of the body. Rest your head on the mat. If you'd like to go further, bend the right leg and place the foot behind you. Also option to wrap the right arm behind the back. Roll back onto your belly. Then bring the forearms to the mat for a sphinx. Pressing the floor away as you broaden your chest. Keep your knees on the ground. As you exhale, pick up your hips and move your hips back to come into puppy pose. It may be that now you can lift your elbows to straighten your arms to create space to sink the chest. If not, keep your forearms grounded with a bend in the elbows and work the pose from here. Bring your forearms back down to the mat. Rock forward so that your shoulders stack your elbows. Tuck your toes, lift your hips to come into forearm plank. Continue to press through the forearms, pushing the floor away. And if you're starting to feel a lot of tension in the neck, gaze down. Try to loosen the area around the neck. If this becomes too much, you can always lower the knees down. Continue to press the floor away and start to dial up your breath now. Breathing with a little more strength, a little more force behind the breath. Yeah. 
lower your knees good work come back into tabletop reset the hands then tuck your toes lift your hips come back to downward dog and when you arrive in downward dog start to pedal out the legs it's moving in any way that helps you explore those areas of your body that you haven't moved into yet And looking forwards, take baby steps to walk to the top of the mat. You can keep a little bend in the knees here, folding forwards, relaxing the chin to the chest. Just let everything hang heavy, perhaps swaying side to side, or you could walk out the legs. With an inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale and step the right foot back. Lower the knee to find low lunge. With an inhale, reach both arms up, bring the hands together. Then bend your elbows to reach your hands back behind you. And exhale. Inhale, lift your shoulders up by your ears. Exhale, roll your shoulders down your back, encouraging the arms to reach a little further back. One more time. Inhale, lift the shoulders up by ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. Nice. Lower your hands to the mat. Straight in the front leg. And you can send your hips back to create space, or you can edge the front foot forwards to create space in your half split position. Keep the right hand on the mat and reach the left arm up, coming into a twist. If this is too much for the front leg, you can always find a little bend in the knee. Shift the weight into the right knee and right hand. And you can either heel toe the left foot back or you could lift the leg and sweep it back. Coming into this uh, modified balance. Start to bend the left leg and reach the left hand back. See if you can catch your foot. It's okay if you can't quite hold the hand and the foot in space. If you can catch the foot, then press the foot into your hand. And this will help open the left side of the chest. Focus your gaze on one spot as you hold here. Then slowly release, extend the arm, extend the leg. And sweep the leg all the way forwards, trying to keep it lifted if you can. You can always lower it down to the mat if you need. Then re-bend the front knee and lift your back knee, coming into your revolved side angle. Hold for breath in, turn your chest open to the left. As you exhale, roll onto the outer edge of your back foot, setting yourself up for side plank. And you can either heel toe the left foot into place, or you could pick up the foot and place the foot there. If you need to modify your side plank, then the right knee could come down. Focus on keeping right shoulder stacked over the wrist, pressing the floor away here. Lower the left hand to find plank, holding for a breath in, pressing the floor away. Exhale, rock forwards and go as slow as you can as you lower through chaturanga. You can always lower the knees. Inhale to lift the chest, finding cobra, rolling the shoulders back. Exhale to down dog. Holding for a breath in. Exhale out. Then looking to the top of the mat, walk the feet to the hands to come into forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back and lower the knee. 
Inhale, reach your arms up, bringing the hands together. Exhale, bend your elbows and draw your hands back. Inhale, lift the, the shoulders up by the ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down, encouraging the chest to open. One more time. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them back and down. And lower your hands to the mat, straight in the front leg. And you can either move the hips back or edge the foot forwards to create space for you to be able to extend the leg. Lower the left hand to the mat and reach your right arm up as you twist open to the right. There's always the option to keep a little bend in the right knee. Start leaning your weight into the left side of the body and you can either heel toe the right foot back or you could pick up the foot and sweep the leg back, coming into this modified balance. Then bend the right knee, reach back with the right hand, see if you can catch the foot. If you can, press the foot into your hand to help open the right side of the chest. Focus your gaze on one spot. Release the hold of the foot, extend the arm, extend the leg. Then either heel toeing the foot forwards or seeing if you can sweep the leg forwards. Rebend the knee, pick up your back knee. Inhale, turn your chest open to the right side. Exhale, roll onto the outer edge of your back foot, either heel toeing the right foot into side plank or picking up the foot and placing it there. If you're modifying your side plank, then the left knee could be down. Focus on stacking left shoulder over the wrist, pressing the floor away. Lower the right hand, come to plank. Inhale, hold your pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lift the right leg high, keeping the hips square so the right and left side are level. Exhale, step the foot through and reach your arms up for high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms, roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Then reach your arms forwards, straight in the front leg and fold halfway. If this is too, too much for the balance, you can lower your hands down for added support. Keep the gaze down, take the tension out of the neck. Lower your hands, bend your front knee. Bring the right hand to catch the back of the right ankle and you'll be using your left hand by your side for support. Shift the weight into the front foot as you sweep the back leg up into standing splits. Go little by little as you lift the leg and try to reach through your toes, engaging all of the muscles in the leg. Lift your chest halfway, bring your right hand in front of you. Then bend the left leg, reach the left arm up. See if you can reach to take a hold of your foot. It's okay if you can't, you could just hold the arm and the leg in space. If you can take a hold of your foot, press your foot into your hand like you're trying to extend your leg back up, coming into sugar cane. Slowly release the hold of the foot, lower the left foot down to the mat and step back to plank. Hold for an inhale, exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, come through to your back bend of choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale to lift the left leg high, reaching through the toes, keeping the left and right side of the hips level. Exhale, step through to high lunge, reaching your arms up with an inhale. Exhale, cactus your arms, roll your shoulders back, broaden your chest. And reaching the arms forward straight in the front leg and fold halfway. Gaze down. Option to bring the hands down to the mat for support. Lower your hands to the mat. Bend your front knee. Bring the left hand to catch a hold of the back of the front heel. Shift weight forwards into the front foot and lift your back leg up into standing splits. Spread your toes, reach all the way through your toe tips. Lift your chest halfway, place the left hand in front of you. Then bend the right knee, right arm will reach up. See if you can catch the foot. It's okay if not, just hold your arm and leg in space. If you catch the foot, press the foot into your hand like you're kicking your leg back up for sugar cane. Release the right leg back down to the mat and step to plank. Hold for an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, find your back bend of choice. Exhale to down dog. Holding for a full breath in. And exhale out. Lift the right leg high, open out your hip, stacking the right side over the left. Step right foot in between the hands, open out your back foot and windmill your arms to come up for warrior two. Relax the shoulders as you steady yourself here. Then bring the arms behind the back, hold onto your forearms. With an inhale, roll your shoulders back to puff up the chest. And as you exhale, fold forwards towards the inside of your front leg. Getting the chest low. Crown of the head is angled towards the ground. Release the hold of the forearms. Bring your hands to the mat on the inside of the front foot. Turn your back foot to face forwards and lower the knee. And we'll pause here in lizard. Finding a sense of softness. Giving yourself a chance to reset and regain a little bit of energy. Start to bend your arms so that you can lower your chest. Trying to get the right shoulder under the level of the right leg or below the level of the right leg. Reach the left arm out to the left side and reach the right arm through the right leg out to the right side. Option to keep the hands on the ground here or you could lift your arms, hovering them off the mat. Bring your hands back to the mat in front of you and step back to plank. Pressing the floor away, hold for an inhale. And as slowly as you can go on your exhale, lower down through chaturanga, taking your time to really control the movement. Inhale, take sphinx, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Lifting the left leg high, open out the hip, stacking left side over right. 
exhale, step through to warrior two. Windmill your arms on your way up. And then take a moment to settle into position. Relax your shoulders. Bring your hands behind your back. Hold onto your forearms. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold on the inside of the front leg. Crown of the head is pointing down. Sinking the chest low. Bring the hands to the mat on the inside of the front foot. Turn the back foot to face forwards and lower the knee into lizard. Then pausing for the first few moments here. Start to bend your arms so that you can sink your chest further down, bringing the left shoulder below the level of the left arm as best you can. Then reach your left arm through the left leg and the right arm out to the right side. Either staying here with the fingertips on the mat or lifting your arms, hovering them in space. Bring the hands back to the mat, step back to plank. Hold for an inhale, press the floor away. And as slow as you can, go through your chaturanga. Always the option to lower the knees. Inhale to sphinx, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale to lift the right leg high. Open out the hip and bend the knee. Then looking forwards. Exhale, shift forwards and bring the right knee to the back of the right arm or just to the side of the arm. Make a little tap as best you can. And then shift back. Coming back to three leg down dog. Inhale. Exhale again, come forwards, bring the knee to the side of the arm. This time, bend your arms like chaturanga, lowering the chest level with the mat. Always the option to lower the left knee down here. Inhale, come back to three leg, down dog. And again, ripple forwards, bring the knee to the back or side of the arm. Bend your arms like chaturanga, you can always lower the left knee down. See if you can extend the right leg here. Come back up, three leg down dog. Final time, moving with momentum. Start with an inhale. Exhale, come forwards. Bring the leg to the back of the arm. Bend your arms to create a shelf. Extend the right leg and see if you can shift your weight forwards, lifting the back foot. Coming into your flying splits. Slowly come back to plank and we'll lower the knees and take child's pose. I think we all might need it after that sequence. Rest your forehead and instead of having the arms reaching forwards, relax your arms by your side. So we take all of the effort out of the upper body. Start to slow your breath. Come back into downward dog. Lift the left leg high, open the hip and bend the knee. Inhale. Exhale, come forwards, bring the knee to the back or the side of the left arm. Hold, pause. You can always lower the right knee down. 
Inhale, lift back up. Three leg down dog. Exhale. And again, bring the knee to the arm. Bend your arms this time like chaturanga. You can always lower the right knee down. Pause here. Then push back up. Inhale, three leg down dog. Exhale, come forwards, bring the knee to the arm. Bend your arms. This time, see if you can straighten the left leg. You can always lower the right knee down. Pause here. Inhale, come back. Three leg down dog. Final time, give it everything you've got. Exhale, come forwards. Use that forward momentum to shift the weight into the hands as you extend the legs here if you can hover the back foot. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just play around. Then come back into child's pose again, taking a much needed, well-deserved rest. Relaxing the arms by your side, take all of the pressure off the wrists, off the upper body. Reach your arms forwards and ripple forwards. Come and lie down on your belly. Bringing the forearms to the mat for Sphinx. Then lift your legs and hover your legs in the air here. Continue to press the forearms into the mat. Option to stay here or option to reach the arms forwards. Controlling your breath as best you can. Continue to lift arms and legs. And slowly release. Make a pillow with your forearms. Rest your forehead. And give the hips a slight wiggle side to side. Just releasing any lower back tension. And coming back onto the forearms for Sphinx, bend both knees. And then you can either reach back to catch the ankle simultaneously, like so, or you could reach back and catch one and then the other. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, press your ankles into your hands like you're kicking your legs back to lift your chest up into bow. Focusing your gaze on one spot, steadying your breath, continue to press the feet into the hands. Slowly release, lower all the way down, make a pillow once again, rest your head. And if it felt good last time, wiggle your hips side to side. Come onto your knees. Find a kneeling position. Then bring your forearms down to the mat. Start by pushing through the forearms. If you prefer to have your hands clasped together, I recommend trying out both ways. This really helped me in the beginning with forearm stands, so you may want to begin here before having the forearms parallel. Then tuck your toes and lift your hips. Start to walk your feet in as close as you can to come into your dolphin position. If you're already feeling quite challenged, stay here. When you need to break, go down to child's pose. If you'd like a little bit more, lift the right leg high and lift the left heel so you're coming right up onto the tips of the left toes. 
then practice just hopping a little bit off the left foot. Slow, controlled hops. We don't want to go too far too soon. Take a couple of hops and then we'll switch legs. Lower the right foot, lift the left leg, then lift the right heel and start to take little hops. This is just about getting you comfortable hopping and then come down. Take rest in a kneeling position. Rest the hands on your thighs and settle the eyes closed a moment. And as we rest here, I think it's important to acknowledge that we're asking a lot of our bodies. So if at any moment you're feeling frustrated because it's challenging and it's hard, know that it is hard. It's not easy for anyone. You're asking a lot of your body. So now is a time to be compassionate, to be patient, to accept that it's a process. When you're ready, come and lie down on your back. And bend your knees, bring your feet together and open your knees wide. You can rest your hands on your belly here or open your arms out to the side. And from that place of compassion we cultivated a moment ago, stay with that. Take these next few moments to let go of any expectation. Let go of what went well, what didn't go well. And just be in this moment. As it's so easy to be so focused on the goal that we forget to be present. Bring your knees together and hug them into your chest. Option to stay here with knees together or you could open the knees wide and maybe catch the ankles to find happy baby. you're in happy baby bring the knees back together keep your right knee hugged into your chest extend your left leg down to the mat then draw the right knee across the body to the left side coming into a supine twist and you can reach the right arm out to the right side turning the head to the right if it feels okay for your neck
release the twist. And extend the right leg down the mat. Then hug the left knee into your chest and draw the knee over to the right side of the body. Extend the left arm out to the left side and you can turn your gaze to look left if it feels okay for your neck. Release the twist and extend the left leg. Making any final adjustments for Shavasana. Relaxing the legs, relaxing the arms. Settling in for these final moments of stillness. There's one thing that I may tell you, let it be, you are your home. Your body is the only house that you will ever truly own. Maybe it's got some broken windows and there are tear stains on the floors. Maybe you lock the things you wish you weren't behind its many doors, but there is wisdom on its bookshelves and a laugh to light the rooms. There's a vase upon the table where the love you've grown all blooms. Dreams sit on the mantelpiece next to kindness and your trust. Where you use them all so often, they have no time to collect dust. So please don't look at mansions with that envy in your eyes. There's more that makes a home than its appearance or its size. Your body is your shelter, so you deserve to love it all. Don't let the world stand round outside and tell you how to paint your walls. How lucky that you have somewhere to protect you from the night. And if there's cracks left from the past, well, they just let in more light. Begin to deepen your breath. Slowly move your fingers and toes. Hug your knees into your chest. And roll onto your side. Just taking a moment or two here, there's no rush. When you're ready, join me back in a seated position, keeping the eyes closed for now. And as you settle back in, there's one thing I would like you to ruminate on for a moment at the end of this class and take with you into the rest of your day and your week. And it is to be more compassionate with yourself, especially on the days when you feel like things didn't quite go to plan, you didn't do your best. Sometimes it's comforting to know that you did what you could on this day. 
And in the grand scheme of things, it's normally the best that we can do. So sometimes you have to grant yourself a little more grace, a little more compassion, because you did what you could. And that's enough. When you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. I know this class was definitely a challenging one. So I really do appreciate all of the energy that you have given, that you've dedicated to this challenge so far. Congratulations on making it to day 20. I will see you for the rest of the challenge.